Hello everyone, Blackhawks Vision, and we are continuing the Roblox Coaster Road Trip. This is uh, day six. Uh, yeah, day six. And we are at Astral Lakes, possibly one of the pinnacles of the trip. I believe this place has like nine or ten coasters, which is actually more than Roblox Point. And there's the entrance. Yeah, this might be a long one. So hold on to your butts. So as we walk in here, okay, so Cetus is actually the log flume, so I think I'm going to skip Cetus, because I really just want to get all the coasters. I believe they have nine here, or ten, but I think we're going to head this way towards Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Sag Sagittarius, Phoenix, Draco, and Lepus, and then we'll come back to Lynx and Cassiopeia at the, at the end. I actually have no idea which one we're going to come upon first. Oh, it looks like it's going to be Sagittarius. So we're going to go ride that first. Intamin Blitz Coaster? Alright, we're queuing for a Sagittarius. And I love how in a recent update, it now has more lighting so we can actually see when it's dark out. Because this place got really dark. Like, I admit, I played this in the past and it got pretty freaking dark. And now we wait. No, I just went ahead and checked. Sagittarius is an Aero Mine Train. Coaster number 17 of the trip. But I still don't see the train. How long does it take for the train to get back? Ah, there it is. I guess it's a really long ride. So we're going to go and get in the front here. I'm really excited. Oh, look at that. I timed that so perfectly. I am so excited for that Intamin Blitz Coaster. But for now, we gotta ride this Arrow Mine Train roller coaster. Let's go. Now you can see when I press P here, it doesn't really toggle the camera. So yeah, we're stuck with this camera. So and there's really nothing I can do about it. All right, here we go. We have left the station. There's the whole train behind me. Let's go. There are only two rows in the front car and three rows in the other four. Oh, we're going pretty slow. Oh, hey, there's the parking lot. That means it's a parking lot. Is that an RMC? That's an RMC. Is it even working is the question. Oh, we're going really slow here. It would be really nice if they were running two trains today. Ah, here we go. We got a little drop. Never mind, we, we're, oh, we're lagging, that's why. Alright, now we're starting to pick up speed. Whee! Finally, we're picking up speed. Still going pretty slow, though. Here we go, here comes the drop. Still going pretty slow, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. It's it's pretty slow. Wait a second. There's a double up. I mean, we're going so slow. Why? All right. Lift hill. This is an RMC, but I don't even see a train on the tracks. An RMC hybrid coaster. I can't wait for this one. I I don't remember what it was called. Actually, it's called Draco. Yeah, I can't wait to get on this one. Hopefully, because I haven't seen a train go on it. Ooh, that's like crazy ejector right there. Are we going? Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. We're rolling here. Oh, okay, we're going kind of, it's kind of fast. Yeah, I don't see a train at all. On Draco. Wee! 
and no air time. I got a little brake run here. Seriously? This ride is so boring. So yeah, this coaster was really boring. Oh, oh, there's another drop? I didn't even realize that. I thought this was the chain lift into the brake run. Wait, we get to go through a tunnel. This coaster's running pretty slow. I mean, it is a mine train, so... Okay, here's the hill. Here's the B&M coaster that we got a ride later. It's a B&M Hyper. Oh, it's getting dark. Alright, we've essentially spent a full day on this coaster. Yeah, this has been pretty boring. This coaster is way too long. It's been like four minutes, three minutes. And for the most part, it's going really, really, really slow. Went directly over the B&M Hyper. Whee! Picking up speed right into the brakes. That's kind of a ripoff. Now we're done. Oh, there goes the B&M Hyper into the brakes. I got off. I was so sick of this ride. Since it's running so slow, I'm just going to go ahead and jump back in. <laughs> Joke's on them. I just went ahead and jumped back into the park. And there's the entrance. Alright, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go this way for Phoenix, Taurus, and Aries? Well, we'll head this way. We're going to ride Taurus next. I believe this is the B&M Hypercoaster. Alright, we're in the station. Yes! It's the Hypercoaster! Yay! We'll actually get a thrilling ride this time. Here comes the train. Oh, wow. It looks like it's running much faster than the other one. Alright, let's get on. I'm going to go uh, right center. Here we go. You know, Astro Lakes, it would be really nice if you were actually running two trains on your roller coasters. Instead, you just run one train, which slows down the line by a lot. You're cutting your capacity, which means the wait time is going to be really long. So, yeah, on Sagittarius, there was really nothing interesting happening. Oh, wow, we are going up pretty freaking high. Look at this. Oh, man, look out. Oh, there's a pre-drop. Whee! Whoa, oh my goodness. This one's fast. Oh, there's a trim there. Whatever. It's a hyper coaster. Oh, ejector speed hill. Who who expects that on a hyper coaster by B&M? Oh, that's an intense helix. Holy crap. This is going so fast. Oh, man. There's an airtime hill. I'm actually liking the ride this time. Whoa, airtime hill. I actually didn't expect the pre-drop. Oh man, another intense helix. Wow, this is actually surprisingly intense for a B&M Hyper. Whoa! Whoa, underneath the track, double up, into the brakes. Holy crap, although a short ride, it's still amazing. Wow, Taurus, that was amazing. I think I might ride that again, in the back row. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Joke's on all of you, I'm going to re-ride this in the back row. It was that good. Yeah, this has to be my new favorite coaster of the trip. Like, holy crap, how many rows are there on this thing? Seven. Oh, wow, there goes one of the thrill rides. Holy crap. Do you see that? That's Chaos, I believe, or Enterprise? I don't even know at this point. But I ain't complaining. I think it's just me and one other person. Oh, just me. Oh, here we go. Whoa, it's more crazy in the back. Holy crap. There, all right, we go through a trim. Oh, we're making a right-hand turn. Left hand, I mean. Eject your speed hill. Oh, man. Wow. This ride is insane. It's amazing. Oh, and there's the arrow looper. We'll get on that. I don't know when. I did not expect the pre-drop the first time. Oh, man. All right, we're getting closer to the end now. Underneath the mine train and into the final brake run. The drop is crazy in the back seat. Like, holy crap. Man, Taurus is so good. I rode it twice. But now I think it's a good time to head to the next ride. 
All right, we'll head towards Aries, Gemini, Phoenix, Draco, and Lepus. We'll head that way. And these are all very interesting coaster names. All right, I think we'll head towards Gemini and Draco. Oh, this is Gemini right here. Let's go ride it. <gasps> is this that intimate blitz I was talking about? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. The train's back already. Oh, man. It has the heart over the shoulder of strains. Whatever. We're still going to enjoy it, right? Look at this. They do these coasters so well. Oh, wow. Let's enjoy this coaster because I believe this is the only one like it in Minecraft. Like an Intamin Blitz. Minecraft. Roblox. Oh, well, I speed's pretty similar. Oh, there's a launch. Wee! Oh, man. This is pretty intense. So it's kind of lagging a bit. That's all right. Going over the water, over rocks, through a building, that's dangerous, a vertical loop. And now some more intense bank turns over water, rocks, and land. And we go through this. Oh, man. Oh, it's one of those Maverick-style lift hills. More like launch hills. Oh, here comes a beyond vertical drop. What? We're going through a tunnel. Oh, man. An airtime hill. Whoa. Okay, we were trimmed a bit. All right, now we're diving down. Through trees, through, oh, an inclined loop, I think. Oh, I, I don't know what kind of inversion that was. All right, we'll trim there. There's Draco. I'm really excited for that one, if we can even get on it, because I haven't seen a train go all day. Oh, man, we're going over water through so many great bank turns. I still don't know. I think I might like this better than Taurus. Oh, inline roll. All right, ride's over. I think I might like that better than Taurus. I don't know. That is the 19th coaster of the trip. That ride was at least two minutes long. Alright, heading towards Draco now. Yes, there's a train on the tracks. Yes, okay, we're good. Here we go. There's Draco, the RMC iBox Hybrid. Third one of the third one of these of the trip. We had the one at Sim Park. Doesn't that didn't have a name. Red Rocket at Fallout Park, and now we have Draco. Oh, man. Let's go have some fun. It looks like it's running slow. Are you kidding me? Well, there's that garbage mine train, and there's that amazing Intamin Blitz. All right, here comes our train. And it looks like it has those headrests kind of like on L-Rod. All right, we're in. Coaster number 20 of the trip. Ooh, this thing actually kind of looks pretty tall. Oh, we just slowed down a ton. Did you guys notice that? There's the garbage mine train right there. Whoa, we teleported there. Oh, we're going up the lift hill, I guess. Here we go. This is only coaster number four in this park, and I think they have like nine or ten in total. Oh my gosh. And this is one of RMC's classic steep lift hills at a 45 degree angle. Oh man. Oh, we're at the top. Here we go. Let's see if this ride is any good. All right, here we go. Ooh. Wee! Ah. Oh, we're running pretty slow, but oh, uh, yeah, we're running really slow. Let's see. Oh, man, we are running super slow. Little fake and little fool inversion. I guess it is an inversion, I think. Little bank turn to the left. This is running so slow. This is so disappointing. I remember when I came here and this used to be good. When it used to run really fast, but now it's running super slow because of the stupid Roblox physics update that happened a couple of years ago. All three RMCs of this trip have been so disappointing. I was expecting them all to be good, and I'm an RMC fan, but this is really not fun at all. I expected so much better. Look at this, we're getting to the break run. Typically, I encourage RMC coasters, but only if they're running fast and they haul through the whole ride. 
This one definitely doesn't haul. Its top speed has to be like 20 miles an hour. Look at that red to brake run. All right, let's head further back. Is there a top spin at this park? Are you serious? There's a top spin at this park. Oh, there's another one of those rare thrill. Actually, I think they're pretty common now. Shoot, I missed it. Leapus. We're going to go ride Leapus. I believe this is the classic Woody. And if you're wondering if that's the actual train, no, it is not. This is actually like a fake GCI Millennium Flyer that's just sitting there. Look how slow Draco's running. Did you see it just go through that turn? It was. It's running so slow. Yeah, all three RMCs on this coaster road trip have been very disappointing. I'm very disappointed. Is the train seriously stuck? Are you kidding me? I'm going on to look at this. This is the only true wooden coaster in the park. And the train valleyed. Are you kidding me right now? Well, that's minus one credit. Look at that! That's so stupid! How did it valley in the first place? That's so dumb! Well, minus one coaster. Well, that was a disaster. Minus one coaster. So, I don't know which one we're going to come upon next. I'm very disappointed that we don't get to ride Leapus today. So, we've gotten on Taurus, we've gotten on Gemini, Sagittarius, and Draco, and we can't even do Leapus. So, the ones we have left are Cassiopeia, Phoenix, Lynx, and Ares. And so, I think we're going to head towards Phoenix and Ares first. And we'll get Cassiopeia and Lynx later on. So we'll head this way. And right, this is Gemini. Probably the best coaster here because it's a good ride and it's a long ride. It's a coaster that's actually long. There's Lepus. Uh, too bad we don't get to do it today, but it was worth a shot. Alright, we're heading to Phoenix. I actually forget what model this coaster is. It's a B&M wing coaster. This place should seriously add fences. I actually fell off the path and ended up on the hill, and I had to find my, w my f and find my way back up. They should seriously consider adding fences to their pathways and queue lines. Or right, I guess we're riding on the left wing, and I have no clue where the lift hill even is to this thing. Is it a launch wing coaster? Oh my gosh! I guess we're gonna be on the right wing. There's the train. Oh boy, let's see. Here we go. This is an LSM launch. Right? Let's see how let's see how gradual this launch is. Here we go. Whoa! That is not gradual. That's pretty abrupt. An Immelman loop. There's Leapus who didn't get to ride it. Oh man. This is actually pretty good so far. It's running really well. That's two inverted. Wait. A vertical loop? Why is there a vertical loop on a wing? Oh, Thunderbird. Why is there an airtime hill? Oh man, here comes one of its dive loops. Like one of the wing. Oh man, why is there another airtime hill? Wing coasters are not meant for airtime. Wait, there's a sixth inversion. Of course, it's got to have an inline twist. Oh man, this is an intense turn. Actually, not very, not really profile very well into the final break run. That is a good coaster. And look at, look at me. I'm not even aligned with the seat. That's so stupid. That is a fun ride. All right, let's get out of here for real this time. All right, I think we still got like three more to ride or two more to ride, whatever. Yeah, we still need to ride Aries, Lynx, and Cassiopeia. So yeah, we still need to ride three more and I'm not going to be riding the Log Flume. Actually, I might. I'm thinking about it. All right, we still got to hit up Aries, Lynx, and Cassiopeia and they're all this way. Is that an SNS? screen or launch tower whatever you want to call it there's aries right there we'll go hit that one up what the flip is this why is there one of the cars from the drop tower there that's so stupid anyways let's go ride aries
And I believe this one's a B&M invert. And I'm jumping all this. There's no way I'm going through all those switchbacks. Oh man, that, look, that's running so fast. Look at that. The train is making its way into the station of this B&M invert by the name of Ares. Passing by super fast on some of the middle sections of the ride. All right, I'll stop. Anyways, let's get on the train and enjoy this ride already. It was running so fast. This looks like a pretty sh a pretty small hi a hyper. Invert. We already rode a hyper. Alright, we gotta ride Lynx and Cassiopeia after this. Oh boy. Oh man. Look at this. We're not even that high up. Alright, let's see how this is. Oh, it has the pre-drop. I believe the... I believe that's Lynx. Whee! Oh man, oh we're running fast. Look at this. A vertical loop. Or right, go through the loop. Oh man, wow, we go through intense turns already. Is this an Immelman? Yep. We're running we're going so fast I can't even keep up with what's going on. Oh we're going through an inline twist through the loop. Whoa, okay, mid course. Slowing us down. I hardly even did anything. Alright. Whoa, okay. We're going there's some pretty fast transitions. Corkscrew. Right hand turn here. Oh man. Another corkscrew. We're still traveling pretty high speeds over the water. A 90 degree bank turn. You don't see that on inverts too often. Alright, we're done. Wow. That hauled through the whole layout. Wow. This thing hauls. Wow. Aries is so much fun. That has to be a top three coaster in this park with Taurus and um, Gemini. Yeah, I was really disappointed with Drake. Alright, we're not going to get on the Enterprise because, oh, look, there's the Hyper, Taurus, and we're going to go get on Lynx. They have two separate fence entrances, but it leads to one single path. Isn't that pointless? You know me. I'm jumping all these. Can I go through, th please? Thank you. I'm just waiting right here. Oh, I just saw the train go by. This is a Schwarzkopf looper. You see there's the loop. Oh, here comes the train. It only has lap bars. Oh, hallelujah. No, get back here. Get back here. There we go. Got the front row. Oh, man, it has one of those similar starts to Revolution at Magic Mountain. New Revolution, I meant. It just goes a little uphill on a curve and then gets you on the chain. Here we go. What is that? What is that white one over there? I want to know what that one is. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh man. Wee. Oh man. All right, we're going through a couple of hills before the loop. Oh, we're hauling through them. Okay. Oh, we're going through the loop now. Whoa. All right, we're going through an arch. All right, mid-course. All right. Oh, wow. That took away most of our momentum for sure. Oh, we're gaining some of it back. Picking up speed again. Oh, we're going over Aries. We were on that earlier. Now that thing hauled. All right, we're done. Now we got to go through the final break run through the loop structure. Look at this. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, we stopped. Alright, now we need to go ride Cassiopeia. And maybe Cetus, maybe. Let's go. I guess we'll try Cetus. <laughs> I'm using the exit to bypass all those switchbacks. Alright, there we go. Alright, we have to operate the logs myself, I guess. Do I press that green button? Oh shoot, it regens them. Oh, I have to get in this one. Oh, is it, is it stuck again? Seriously? I'm gonna have to regen it again. Here we go. All right, gotta get in. Get in. It stopped again. Why did it stop? Are you kidding me? Why does it stop? I'm not riding this. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Let's go ride Cassiopeia already. I was going the wrong way there. Do I have to go up this ramp? I think this is the exit ramp from something. 
And I have no idea where I'm going. Oh shoot, this is definitely an exit ramp. It's gotta be. Where does this lead me to? Where does this go to? I don't know where I'm going at all. That's from that's from the log flume. Ew, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Definitely not getting on the Enterprise. Can I please pause this? There's the drop of the log flume. I guess I'm heading this way in order to get to the other ones. So we can try and get to Cassiopeia and ride that before I run out of memory. Shoot. There it is. Let's go ride Cassiopeia. This is an aerodynamics custom looper. This is another fake train. And it just left the station. Now I have to wait a long time. Here we go, guys. We are in the front row. And the seating is off again. Perfect. I'll try getting on the other side of it. Nope, still off. Right, I'll get back in my original seat. No! It's going too fast. No! What am I doing? Alright, then. That was interesting. Probably shouldn't have done that in the first place. Anyways. We're going on the lift hill. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Whee! Oh, man. Oh, a little pop of air. Vertical loop. Woohoo! Oh, going through a bank turn to the left, not the right, like I expected. Here comes the other vertical loop. Woohoo! And of course, like any arrow looper, you're going to have a mid course. That brings you almost to a complete stop. There's the parking lot. Here we go, Batwing. And it's not a bow tie like on Dragon Mountain. Oh, a double corkscrew, just like on any arrow looper. Oh, there goes Tor. Oh, you couldn't even see it. Never mind. A little pop of air. Oh, wow. We're whizzing into that final turn of the brakes. All right. Let's get the flip out of here now. I kind of like that better than Shockwave at Roblox Point. Yeah, I'm not really sure about the red and white coaster that I saw. I'm not really sure about it and how I'm supposed to ride it. There are nine coasters here, and I think only like seven of them worked out. Let me do my. Let me look at my calculations. So we rode eight out of the out of the nine coasters they have here as we exit the park. Alright guys, so it was great to have eight of the nine coasters work out. So yeah. That is gonna do it for this video from Astral Lakes. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do consider smashing that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, be sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this coming in the future. I actually extended the plans to, I believe, like 15 or 16 parks instead of just 8. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one very, very soon.